Good morning and welcome back to the theater. Today is Tuesday. Also, like that light, like that picture and the red, I just, I can't with it. <laughs> Anyways, I am at the theater. It is stupid early in the morning. It is 6.38. That is insane. Um, slept all right last night. Obviously not as long as I would have liked, but it is fine. I think I had some weird dreams and I think that's just as a result of me being creative and stuff and that often happens that I have weird dreams when I'm writing or planning and stuff and I just you know it is what it is the plan for today is to potentially work for a long time but I'm not 100% sure yet because I don't know who's gonna be in yet to work on our staff meeting yesterday tech says that they are gonna be coming back in here shortly to work on stuff so maybe i will get the lowdown on the paint <laughs> um, and then box office will be in because it's still going strong with like reschedulings and cancellations and all that fun stuff it sounds like i don't think i mentioned this yesterday but it sounds like i think i vaguely mentioned it i don't remember yesterday was a long time ago and i'm tired but <laughs> it sounds like we're not going to be open until at least the end of June, which is what I was expecting <laughs> because our health care notice right now is until the end of May. So everything in June is usually dance shows. And if they can't get into their studios until the end of May. <laughs> so there won't be any dance shows. I think that they're still hoping that they'll be able to get in and do their shows and stuff. But honestly, I, it sounds like rumor has it that this healthcare thing is going to go until the end of June now. It just hasn't been officially announced. But we'll see what happens. You never know, this is all fluid. Things are ever changing. But basically, like at the end of this month, I don't think I have a job, but also there was a, like a couple hours allocated to me. So I don't know, <laughs> because it's like, you're, all these people except these people are getting laid off and I wasn't on that list. But then later down, I think I mentioned this, I was on the list, so I don't know. Anyways, we shall see. <laughs> and then um, things might change though because the government is giving out wage grants to a bunch of businesses and maybe we'll qualify for that because that would be great because then we could go on as business as unusual. Anyways, <laughs> I'm wrapping. This is just the update of my life, which is like always changing. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go now have my breakfast drink watch some youtube videos and then later today i'm contemplating maybe making bagels again i still have two left for my batch but i don't know how they're not moldy yet because there's no preservatives in them so it's probably going to be soon so i might make bagels tonight especially because we're just doing leftovers so i won't need the oven for anything and then when i have a day off this week i think i'm going to make bread exciting news i know i know i know anyways i'm gonna go now i'll catch up with you along the way in a shocking turn of events i am at home now it is a quarter after two i got off work at 1 30 ish um and then we had to go pick up bread for dinner tonight i was like i can bake bread just might have to have a late dinner <laughs> but we grabbed bread from like one of the like small stores so all is well and i have put on my workout shirt in hopes that it'll make me work out but also i think i need to have lunch here because i have not had lunch yet so that's probably a thing i should eat here shortly so that's where we're at i've got a pretty lengthy list today of writing stuff and other things <laughs> and i also have to edit a video so there's that so actually maybe what i'll do is i'll start all that exporting and rendering currently go make myself some food and then come back up and work on it that seems like a legitimate plan so that's where we're at it's a beautiful sunny day which i'm going to enjoy from inside <laughs> ah. um, but yeah i did do i did a lot of painting i couldn't find the paint for the doors which really need a lot of love and the assistant tech director came in and he knows where everything is in that building and he couldn't find it either so i think next time i go in though i'm gonna start painting the non-public spaces so all the public spaces have been touched up hopefully it all dried well i don't know <laughs> i did a lot of like hole filling and stuff yeah anyways that's what we did today and now it's time to switch focus and do the other things i think i'm gonna take tomorrow off because tomorrow's wednesday so i need to invoicing and 
brain. Hello, brain. <laughs> and I want to bake some bread and maybe some bagels. I might do bagels today. We'll see how I feel. So, I had like a two hour nap. <laughs> I painted my nails. It was on my list. So we'll see how long those last because as we know, I'm like Chippy McChick, Chip, Chip, Chippy McChip Queen when it comes to nails, but hopefully it'll last for a while. Um, the nap kind of threw things off because I put on my workout shirt, like I said, because I was going to do my dance dance workout, or it's not dance dance, it's just dance. Um, and that didn't happen. <laughs> so that's fine. You know, obviously my body needed it. I was up early this morning. I was going to say yesterday, but no, it was definitely this morning. I was up early, so that kind of didn't happen. I just, and like, it's after 9.30 and I just finished dinner very recently because I still had to eat and um yeah actually my mom came up at like 5 30 ish to be like hey you coming down for dinner and I was like no I'm having a nap <laughs> I was like can you wake me up at 7 30 though and I woke up at like 7 54 and I was like what <laughs> and then she came up a couple minutes later she's like I was playing video games on the computer and I forgot <laughs> so ended up sleeping a little bit longer than anticipated so yeah, I was going to shower tonight, but because I didn't do my workout, I think I can survive another day. And then, other than that, I just need to work on my story planning, which is over there. So, I think I might do that. I still might jump in the shower because I feel kind of gross and greasy. Maybe I should do that. I'll probably feel better. Anyways, we'll figure it out. But I think we're going to be up for a while because two-hour nap at 5.30 in the evening... Also, I was listening to Harry Potter when I fell asleep, and it's um, Goblet of Fire, and it's like right at the end where everything got like really intense, and I fell asleep when it was like getting really intense, woke up briefly, and I was like, oh, this is a good part too, fell asleep again. <laughs> so I'm going to have to re-listen to a chapter and a half at least, two chapters, I don't know. Probably like two and a half chapters, time-wise. Anyways, that's where we're at. I'm going to stop rambling and start doing something. So I feel like I'm like, oh, cool, because I kind of, wait, did that make it better? I don't know. Anyways, I just finished doing my planning for the day. I actually modified it a little bit because what I had planned to do was plan a warehouse and plan a house house today. Um, but then tomorrow I was supposed to plan a rooftop across from the warehouse that somebody uses to spy on the warehouse and so it made more sense to do the warehouse and then do the roof even though like I'm gonna type it all up but in my head it just made more sense to go on the same path so modified that a little bit which is fine but we're coming along we got some more yellow bits which are exciting plot points or great ideas I'm also like look at this I used up all my purple flags and I'm almost at all my blue flags which is sad I think I have like two left in purple if you were not around the other day when I was talking about it purple is what I use to mark where uh, I have people like people and people characters that's the word I'm going for and blue is for places which blue for building p purple people <laughs> blue the building. I do fortunately have another set of flags that is the exact same color scheme which is very exciting but despite the fact that I have like this entire thing full of flags those are the only ones that I have that are the right size and right color so I might have to get some at some point but I just broke into that one so it's not going to be anytime soon and honestly I think I'm getting near the end of my people planning stage let's see pink tells me where my characters are um yeah so it looks like I'm done all the people for now I'll probably come across a couple more that I do need to plan as I go forward it kind of happens regularly and then I just oh I can cross that off 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six more places to do at the moment. Again, I'll probably come up with some more, but it's going pretty well. I'm pretty excited. I didn't want to do this today, but I'm glad I sat down and did it. I'm excited. I feel great. We are highlighting things and everything, so that's cool. And then I just spent some time. This is how I'm tracking my hours for work, so I have like how many hours I was supposed to work tied to shows and I have how many hours that I was supposed to work just tied to regular operation stuff and so I have like down here I have like each pay period and how many hours I was supposed to work in that time <laughs> and then what I've actually been it's just like a it's a disaster but we're doing well I'm on track as I'm supposed to be I think I'm a little bit ahead of hours like by a couple but it's fine I'll just like one week just not go in as much or something I don't know we're just figuring it as we go along I'll get an official update from my boss man after tomorrow because tomorrow is they're doing like the the payroll so yeah but that's another exciting thing that I am doing in this time but yeah no I think things are going pretty well I'm very excited about the book situation I also wrote out my um, bagel recipe on cue cards because it's a pain to like constantly have to open up the recipe on here. I didn't write out the whole thing, I just wrote out mostly the uh, instructions and the ingredients at the beginning because it's a little finicky. But yeah, we're doing well. It is 10 to 12 so you should probably start thinking about getting ready for bed, but honestly I'm not really tired. I didn't shower if you can't tell and I'm honestly just too lazy to now so yeah, I did almost everything on my list. Other than that, I looked at more sewing machines again today. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing it, maybe at the end of the week. Yeah, like a good treat. There is um, the Canadian Tire near here. I think they're just doing like contactless or like car delivery kind of situation. And they actually have two really nice, well, one simple machine and one nice one that I was looking at. So I'm thinking about getting that one. But we'll see. Because I'm like, that's kind of complicated. But also I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to make clothes again. Because I used to sew and make clothes and make teddy bears and all that fun stuff. So now's the time to do those things and like embroider again. Like I should embroider. Anyways, we are rambling for no reason. But I'm gonna go now. Probably get a couple things done. Write my list for tomorrow. Migrate the things that I need to. So like the house, the shower. And um, yeah. I'll check in with you before I go to sleep, I guess. Alrighty, well, it is about quarter to one now, and I don't even know what I did for the last, like, however long it's been. Pretty much nothing. Just scrolled the internet. I wasn't really on the internet a lot today because I worked, and then I came home and crashed. <laughs> So, which I think is a good thing. I think it's a healthy thing to be on the internet less. Like in the morning, I tend to watch vlogs because like YouTubers are just putting out content because they're stuck at home like the rest of us. So that's nice. But then after that, I just kind of try to minimize its impact in my life which again like I said is a good thing and it's also helping me be more productive because prior to like these last couple days I was just spending hours just scrolling just scrolling like Instagram discovery feed oh, just watching videos that I had no interest in so yeah I think we're making good progress but I'm gonna go to sleep now because I want to not sleep in crazy late tomorrow because I want to bake bread and I want to bake bagels I think mm, bagels I kind of want to get up early enough that I can bake bagels and then have them for breakfast but they take like an hour and a half so I don't know if that's feasible we'll see though anyways I'm gonna go now so with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things good night <laughs>